Welcome. 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 I am the Crayfish from the Crayfish Life on Facebook. You have navigated to my wonderful video over on YouTube. And what are we doing today? I'm going to give you guys a quick run through beginner's guide to Plexo 95 Skyblocks. It's a rather good Skyblocks mod. There's a lot of mods in it. If you do want to download it, go over to Curse Forge. You can easily Google that. It is one word, Curse, C-U-R-S-E, Forge, F-O-R-G-E. All one word. There should be a link. Download it. I think it goes through uh, Omega Wolf or Alpha Wolf. It's another program as well. Download all of that. And then you can browse the mod packs. You can browse Skyblocks, all kinds of stuff. This is the Plexo 95 Skyblocks mod pack. And we're already very far along in it. We've got quite a bit set up. You can see I've got storage set up. I've got what is probably the most important thing to remember. And I will explain all of this in the beginnings and stuff. A cobblestone generator. Which, this is a setup that's automatic. You will have a different setup. Now... Let me show you just about where you're going to begin. Before I do so, notice that there are a lot of different mobs. You have your normal creepers, okay? You also have regular skeletons. You also have these guys that are ancient golems. There's all kinds of different creatures, different critters, and they have health bars in the top left. I have a lot of real crazy stuff, so I right now I can take a lot of hits, but they will hit for a lot, so be very careful with what fights you take, because you do die quite a bit. And uh, if you can get loot bags like these here, you're gonna do really, really good, really, really good. Oh, I got a power core. Look at that. What you do with the loot bag is look into an area where you're not on a block or anything. Not, you're not going to open anything. Right click and it will have its items inside. Rare loot bags are better than common. You have uncommon. You have artifacts. This one turned out to be really good with an unbreaking three and mending shovel. Look at that. We already have an efficiency five one. An iron chest plate and, and an iron ingot. Not bad. As soon as you empty out that loot bag, it's going to go away. You don't have to hit escape, nothing like that. I always make the mistake of hitting escape, so I always end up pausing in my menu. But you can see these are the different types that you can get. You can get epic. Think of it as white, green, blue, purple, gold, and then artifacts. So you get all kinds of crazy stuff from these. And uh, there's a lot of different things. Like you can get zombie brains. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff all kinds of stuff in here but let us and let me show you where you're going to start so you've just started your plexo skyblock adventure you've went through the little starting area you've freaked out when you hit the little heartbeat uh thing in spawn because it was so loud. You talked to a few people. You did a couple things. You explored a little bit. And you finally went through and you picked your portal. You've ended up on an island similar to what you're seeing here. Okay? These are your starter islands. Your starter islands come with one chest, one tree, and uh, three layers of blocks. Typically in an L shape. Okay, typically in an L shape. In your chest, you have three items. Three items. Now, you don't have access to anything like this that I have right here. You don't have access. You will get a couple things that you eat, uh, but you don't have any of this. None of this. Obviously, you'll take your bed out. You take all these out because you need these. You need these very, very crucially. Break your grass wisely. Don't break it just to break it and get rid of it because it can provide you with 
seeds, which can provide you with wheat, which can provide you things that you do need. Sleep in your bed and you'll go to daytime. Now, what is the first thing that you need to do? You are going to need to use your brain a little bit. What on earth could we do with ice and with lava? We can make a cobblestone generator. Easiest way to do this is going to actually be to knock out a couple areas in front of you. And if you want to, you can uh, you can kind of dig down a couple of these, these dirt block areas and kind of start to expand out a little bit. But you're going to want to do two things, okay? You're going to want to first dig out an area right here. Okay. Boom. Okay. You're going to want to dig this out. Okay. So you've got that set up right there. You're now going to do this. And you're going to place your ice here. And then you're going to break it with your hand. That turns it to water and flows down into the hole. Now comes a very interesting, tricky part. You've just gained four pieces of dirt. You can use them extremely wisely. Place your four pieces of dirt like so. Don't ask me why that got really dark. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. Anyways, place your four dirt block just like this, all right? You can break this piece of grass. So we have water. We have a two deep hole. So one, two, the water flows into the hole and does not move past this block. That is crucial, absolutely crucial. Last thing you need to do, break that dirt block right there. So now you have a two block gap and place your lava. Lava will flow, touch the water. And now you have your first bit of cobblestone, but you don't have a pickaxe. Well, you have wood. So, break your wood, just like so, it's just a normal log, you're going to need a few of these, so try to, try to save and gather as much as possible, okay, we've gained, what did we gain, we gained some sticks, because I have, a, I have a little bit of, uh, little bit of wood cutting experience in the game so I, I get a couple other things you probably won't get those sticks but we've got logs you can take your log build yourself a crafting table put that crafting table somewhere that's going to be of use to you probably want to replace a dirt block with it if you want to that's entirely up to you your island is how you want to make it okay now the last thing we have, because we have, I think, one more block up here. Go ahead and destroy your tree if you're ready. If you're ready. Make sure that you have the ability first, though, to make yourself a wooden pickaxe. Okay? My suggestion, make the pickaxe first. Make the pickaxe first before you fully break your tree. Because then, crouching... You want to break your cobblestone block. Some of it will go in there, but some of it will get you can pick up eventually. If you fall in there, I uh, I don't suggest it because of the fact that uh, it will push you into the lava. Another way you can do this is you could sit here if you wanted to. Um, I actually learned a way where you can take this right here, this block, and then crouch, push as far up to this block as possible, and then you can just sit here, and you're good to go. So you do this, all right? You get your cobblestone, simple, easy, okay? Use your cobblestone, expand your area like so, to the point where you can now break your tree and get the saplings because once you break your tree it's going to in disappear immediately this is a little bit unique of a tree it's got a little bit more wood than most trees this is actually a really really beneficial tree to have starting out realistically 
but you're going to want to break your trees. Notice how the leaves instantly disappear. And they're going to drop their saplings. Like so. I have a really big jump, by the way. So, you guys won't be jumping as high as this. But there you go. So, you're going to collect your wood. Your tree's going to end up breaking eventually at some point in time. Do I have... I do. All right, just to speed this process up, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead. You're gonna break just like so. See how all of that instantly, instantly disappeared, instantly disappeared. And notice how the saplings they fell down. You want to gather those. That's why you want to spread out your base. You want to spread out your floor as soon as you possibly can, and before before you fully break your tree. The tree should give you enough wood to do what you need to do. But you want to get all of that. You want to get all of that sapling. You can also take your bird's nest. You'll get a lot of these. Just smack them on the ground. And they will give you random items. So it might have given us bones. I, I'm not sure. I think it was seeds was one of them. It'll give you random items. Small, random, little items. But then, what you want to do, what I do is I then work to provide myself a good place to plant another tree. Keep in mind, dirt is one of your very vital resources. So don't just willy-nilly break dirt. Don't just, you know, boop, because then that'll happen. And then you're screwed, because you can't get it back. So that's, that's your standard starting setup i don't know why these leaves decided they wanted to stay and then that one up there decided it wanted to stay whatever it's okay sometimes it happens but that's how you'll start out and that's about what you want to have it'll be boring starting off you'll be getting a lot of cobblestone you'll be you know building this up building this out you'll start working to where you can work around and you're widening out your base and then eventually eventually you'll have what i have so let's see what I have. Poof. And so this is what I have. This is what I have developed. This is what I have come up with. You can see that is just about the original, the OG land that I started off with. But it's all the way down to the bottom level. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's... Yeah, I'm all the way down to the bottom level there. Wow. And I just went, I went out, I went wide. I developed and was able to, to go to a couple different areas and get more water. So obviously with two water sources, you create an infinite water source by placing one, leaving an air block, and then placing another. They will generate and create a water source block in between them. Simple and easy. I put trapdoors on top because I wasn't sure if the water would freeze. You can always re-break it, but I don't like to deal with that. So I put trap doors, built a little contraption. You don't see my cobblestone generator here because I have moved to my nearest island, which is down here. And you can see I've used a lot of cobblestone, guys. A lot of cobblestone. I didn't worry about going all the way to stone or anything like that. I've got a lot of weird trees that I planted as well. But I found a way using the water to create a nice little farm. You see I've got some here. You've got some cotton. You've got some wheat. You've got melons, which you can find in various areas. If you want to go off and explore the wild craziness, you can easily do so. You can see I've went and explored a couple of different areas over there. And I even went and explored one over there by using a tactic that uh, I realized later on I wasn't supposed to use. So, what exactly is that technique? Um, it is this. You don't actually die when you fall off. What it does is it loops you back around. It spawns you up top. But, you do take fall damage. So, landing on any, any location, any spot is going to take you down to half of a heart. Straight up. Now, I didn't take any damage. 
because again I've been playing this for a while I have baubles that I have collected one of those baubles is a lucky horseshoe which as you can see up there negates fall damage so now I can fall however far I want and I can do whatever I want and I'm just an OG I'm just a baller but I'm also got this spiked star cloak which is pretty sweet pretty awesome uh, I just means when I get injured that a bunch of stars come flying down from the sky anyway you start off with this use your dirt extremely wisely this is one of my OG OG tree stands I built myself two po two pods so I can plant a tree here it'll grow I can break a tree here this increases the amount of wood I have access to which increases ultimately what I can do once you get to a point where you can adventure out you decide you want to adventure out you can make yourself some armor you can get some weapons which your standard weapons are pretty darn good pretty darn good but armor first and then if you can get yourself killing some people with those loot bags the loot bags are tremendous absolutely tremendous i've made a little waterway down here you do have thirst thirst is a problem you can see that down there i'm at three and a half little thirsty teardrops this is my little area that i have built and you'll find these islands just dotted you may find one nearby you may not find one nearby if you can expand to a bigger island it's well worth it they're typically a fight though to expand to these little dudes here these yellow guys are chargers they are tremendously awesome they're simply relatively easy to kill and you can get the shank off of them and then turn that into cooked shank or charger shank and that does some pretty good healing for you Food will be a little difficult to come by, so be very sparse with how you're doing your things, what you're planning. Keep food in the in the very forefront of your mind as well as water. Make sure that uh, your water doesn't ever do anything that it doesn't need to do. And if you're able to go get and create an infinite water source, do that as soon as possible. My cobblestone generator here works off of a redstone clock set with a comparator. A one tick actually not even a one tick repeater just a repeater in line and then on the back side I have a sticky piston that is being powered by this redstone block here it's, it's right next to it this observer is pushing is facing this way giving a signal to what's called a block breaker you see that up top block breaker is one of the things that you can search for and it tells you exactly how to make it block breaker there you go so if you want to make one this is what it takes you can also buy them from different stores and the stores i will show you in a little bit in a little bit but if i turn this on what it does is it will actually generate stone right here and then that, that all of this moves in a perfect time to break it as quick as possible as soon as it places my lava never actually hits my water source block and I have two source blocks back here as well if I need to it doesn't actually generate for some reason the third source block I just have them there in case I need them but it's a very simple way to do it and you can sit there and generate a lot a lot of help so that's what I that's what I recommend there if you're wondering what I have in my hoppers I have three clay that is the timing that seems to be perfect it seems to be perfect but let's hop over to the shop and then I will show you what exactly that is all about see you soon and now we are at the bounty barge boat place you can see oh the fireworks are going off there's three big balloons so if you look if you press m to open your map it zooms out on this big map notice that there's this big square here that is all chunked off this is your skyblocks area and then outside of it you have just regular minecraft world 
So I don't venture too far out. You can see that there's a couple very unique areas out here that might be worth adventuring out into. Um, but I've stayed in here relatively. But you can see there, it's marked by the three big balloons. You'll spawn if you die and you spawn in this area. You'll spawn right about here. Uh, you can go talk to these people. They have interesting things. Anybody like this Stanley guy that has audio file next to his name, you can right click and trade. And he'll give you like no blocks. Um, he'll give you no blocks as well because he's an audio file. You'll see there's a librarian back there. But you see these little these little teleport pads. This one goes to Castilla. This one over here goes to the immersive engineering store. And this one goes to mine slash turrets and automated items. That's the one where you're going to get the block breaker. And all of these are one-way tickets. Meaning when you go through that portal, there's a portal there on the other side. But you have to talk to this dude. And you have to buy an ender shard for 25 diamonds which is blocks of diamonds and you will find blocks of diamonds throughout your adventures so pick up as many as possible they are currency in this game as well as coins but that's what you're going to want you buy these then you can walk over and you can st step in them and it'll activate them and then you can come back there are a couple of them that are free and they do say free comeback on them your plexo bank if, for example is a free comeback the black market store is a free comeback so make sure you when you see and you look notice whether or not it says free comeback like sell your oil free comeback make sure that it says that or make sure you have a shard and you'll be okay you've got over here you got the belongus shop that's what this place was called belongus these guys have very interesting items you can buy books the books don't really do anything too much you can get crazy flowers. You can get a sword. Uh, you can get all kinds of stuff. Mana steel ingots, which allows you to make mana steel armor, which can then be turned into terra steel armor. You can get terra steel ingots as well. You can do elementium. All kinds of real crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy mods. You can get thief. All this very unique, unique qualities. These guys sell eggs. They sell birds. They sell birds with that, with that, and eggs, basically pretty interesting they have their own different spawn rates you can walk up here this guy has cosmetics a tiny potato hat you know or mask the mahjong or uh, majora's mask from legend of zelda you know witch pin all of these are as you can see baubles and so they give you they give you fun stuff go up to the dailies and you see this wonderful bailey which you can't really tell what she looks like but she's just gorgeous. Um, she'll give you quests over here on the left-hand side. It tells you what they are. This one's kill 16 zombie pigmen. There is a nether. And you can build a nether portal. Or there's an actual nether island you can go to. And there's a little nether area and such. There. Uh, if you, you can kill 20 squid. All you do is you click that little arrow. It drags it over to the right hand side and you can see I already have one here that says kill two witches. I've yet to kill any witches so it's zero out of two. But that's the gist of what I've been able to figure out to be the real real interesting stuff. These are the coins they're talking about and I mentioned earlier that you want for currency and you can. this guy's really cool because you can plant funny trees and the runic tree by far is my favorite tree. So if you ever want a nice really cool looking tree, get runic saplings. They're really cool. This guy has a showcase block and you can create, you can open your own server shop with stuff like this. Uh, you have to create the server and select the mod pack through your server provider. Uh, I go through Bi Bisec Hosting is who I get my server from. I don't have a Skyblock server. I have an RL Craft server that's soon to be transferred over to another mod pack because uh, it's 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 getting a little bit old and uh it's we're ready for something new ready for something new but before i head out before i go i'm gonna leave you we'll say three three massive big tips for you guys going in to skyblocks tip number one explore and loot and i mean explore when you're running around here 
okay? And you're you're just like, well, what is this? What the heck is this? Check every nook, every cranny you can get into because there will be chests. Those chests will have items like diamond blocks, the coins. They will be in there. You may even have a chance if you find it. And I don't have any of these actually have anything because I've already looted all of this. But you may find somebody like this guy here who has some very interesting stuff. Like for an emerald, you can get torches. Or for a cobblestone, you can get regular stone. Which I don't know why you would want that, but you know, hey. You can see a little hidden chest in there. There's a chest over here that's hidden. This area right here, which you can see right there, we came down. We came down there, went underneath. If you work your way up, which these red stairs are the easiest way to get up here, okay? Easiest way. If you come all the way up here, you follow the red stairs. There is a guy in here named Far Cry. The first chance you get to attack and kill this man, and he hits hard. Please kill him. That sword he's holding, you get. And he, it has knockback on it. So loot and explore. That goes as tip number one. Tip number two. Always have a water bucket on you. Because your thirst bar is not your friend. It can become a foe very, very quickly. And nobody likes dying because you didn't drink any water. It also helps you get down to a lot of locations. It helps you get up to a lot of locations. I don't even want to know why all of that just changed. I think the season switched. So tip number two, always keep a water bucket on you. Tip number three is go slow. Go slow. You do respawn when you die, but you respawn back where use your bed most likely is where you're going to be spawning back at or if you haven't slept and you haven't set your respawn point you'll probably spawn here or somewhere else either way understand where that spawn point is and understand that your last death will always be marked so the last time i died was actually no joke at my house because I was over here fighting a bunch of people and I ended up dying. When you die, your body creates a chest. And it is a chest. So your lovely body lays there until you come and get it. There's no, no despawn timer on that particular chest. Your stuff is safe. If you can't get back there right away and immediately, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Take your time, build up the resources, the armor, the weaponry needed to go back and get it, and then go and get it. So, be slow and be thoughtful with what you're doing. This place has a lot to explore. Right there is your nether area. And most likely, if I'm not mistaken, anywhere in here, if you teleport and go back through your nether portal, you'll probably end up there. I think that's about a thousand blocks away from everywhere. But explore. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. I've never been. He I've never been here. I have never been over here. I have never been to the orca up here. I've never been to this massive thing. And I've been playing this off and on for at least a good couple months. I've been over here. This had a lot of cool stuff. This was real interesting. There's certain areas that you cannot get into outside of certain ways to get into them. So be wary of that. And personal suggestion, build using cobblestone. Because using the fly technique is fun. But it becomes a big pain in the butt when you die. You jump off and you're like, okay, let's go over here. Or you're trying to get somewhere particular and you die up here. And you're all the way up on top of the balloon. And now you have a body that has all of your stuff up on top of the balloon and the only way to get it 
is to then fall off and plop back down on top of the balloon, get your stuff, and then go, okay, where can I die next? Let's just do this. Jump off, and then you can fly. Like I said, I have done this. I later realized I'm not really supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do it the natural way. It seems pretty fun to fly through the air. So if you want, if you're getting bored of building or it's taking too long, feel free to do so. It, it doesn't kill you. It's, it's, it's kind of fun to just free fall through the air. And lastly, not necessarily most importantly, but something well worth noting is that you will find and you will see areas like this that will be stone kind of islands. This is where you will mine for iron, you'll mine for gold, you'll mine for diamonds. I mean, this is this is where you'll get a lot of the goody goodies. So if you have one of these close by, try and get yourself to it as quick as possible. That will give you access to the iron and such that you need to get tools and equipment to be able to kill and then get those loot bags I was talking about. You may even find a magic mirror. And with that, that rounds out a beginner's guide for Skyblocks. So, to refresh, to go over everything real quick, when you start out, you want to make yourself a little trench consisting of one, two, three, four blocks wide. At least one of the sides needs to have a two block down gap so that your water running from one side of the four block width strip, water runs over and down so that it does not push towards your lava. You then put your lava on the far end of the other side with air between that and water. That's what's going to turn into cobblestone. And then just mine the block out next to your your uh, cobblestone. And then you can just stand there, stay crouched, get all the way up to the edge of it, and just mine. You'll gain cobblestone. Work on building and flattening out your base area first. Do not destroy all of the first tree until you're ready and able to collect all of the saplings. So that you can have a constant supply of wood. That is crucial. Because if not, then you'll kind of be... Just out of luck. Just, just, you're just screwed. Screwed. Totally screwed. Totally screwed. I didn't find all of these chests. I had to make most of them. So, that's the biggest thing. As you work off of that, you will easily, easily expand. As you can see, you'll get to where you'll be able to have some water. You'll make yourself an infinite water source. And then you'll be set for water. You can take it anywhere and go anywhere with it. But... Other than that, find yourself an island, loot, and explore. That's tip number one. Tip number two. Tip number two. Keep that water bucket on you if possible. If you're going exploring and you're early in the game, leave your water here. Leave it here. If you die, you want to have the cobblestone generator. You don't want to lose your water have that there and three I forgot three I forgot three holy crap before we go I'm gonna go kill these guys I've never seen these guys hey man I got a gun with your name on it what are they wood giants I'm a great shot, by the way. I need a higher level. Nine hunter required? I can't even hunt you? Holy. Okay. All right. Well, with that being said, I wish you guys the absolute ble uh, best in Plexo 95 Skyblocks. If you do have any questions, if you do find anything out about the game that I haven't went over, or you find something interesting and you have a question, Head over to facebook.com slash 
crayfish life. And the I, it's, it's spelled just like you see ticking through here. It, the I in crayfish is a number one. It is not an I. And then life is normal. So there's a send message button over there. Feel free to send me a message. Let me know if I'm terrible at making this video. I don't care. I accept criticism very well. Very, very well. But I hope you guys have fun. I hope you enjoy it. It truly is a great mod pack once you get it started, once you get things going, once you get a decent place set up. And if you have a server, this is a great, a great way to have friends. A great place. You can sit here. You can sell oil for diamonds. And you can take over each other's oil land. This is an oil land, by the way. Over on that far side has some oil. But have fun. Enjoy it. Get to where you have a crazy, normal-looking Minecraft setup. And you'll be good to go. So until next time, until the next video, I am the Crayfish. It has been an absolute pleasure and an honor teaching you guys about a game that I think doesn't get enough credit. I will see you guys on the next one, and peace out.